Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Dark Souls 3 Lore Through. Um, so, we now have finished up around here. We are going to actually, let me, just because, Gaming I'm going to buy some moss clumps. Um, that's fine. Alright, so let's head back to Crucifixion Woods. We leveled up a ton. So, hopefully this will all be super easy and no problems. Did I do any into my endurance? Yeah, I got another whole thing. Okay. Uh, Jesus. He's got Fort's thing. Okay. Wow. Wow, that range. Well, thanks for wasting an um, ember for me. I shouldn't have fought uh, Hodrick all that all those times. I think that was needlessly wasting. All right, get back my sixty-one souls. Let's go down. <laughs> it's funny. All right, so now we're in the kind of uh, blight towny. Dragon Mask. Just getting little pieces of this. Oh, I forgot to return everything. Rag that covers the wearer's mouth. Likely a makeshift item that helped reduce intake of various poisonous and noxious fumes. Yeah, props to um, Dark Souls 3 for sure for giving purpose to every item placement again. Because there was some of that stuff with... Um, I'll keep that. With Dark Souls 2, where it was just getting annoying. <laughs> it's like, why is this here? Okay. And I guess we'll do um, Blood Bite. We'll do Poison Bite. And might as well. Get a good thing. Let's just use that. Was that nice? So a poison, you know, takes a while to build up, and when you get it, I mean, it's not that bad. 
Like, I don't really need probably the the moss, but you know. So, keeping with the crucifixion theme, we have. Kind of looks like the skull of a. a Capra demon, although I don't think they are. So, we get a. Alright, so we're just going to go our way around the left, and but yeah, like, look how much I'm being poisoned. Like, it's nothing compared to two, which was like, almost like toxic. There's my first area. So yeah, gaining entrance to the Legion is a bit of a ceremony, as we've heard like a million times. Stone Parma. So I believe this was the one used by the things in during the castle. A round stone shield once carried by an old knight who returned, returned to stone himself. It has powerful defensive properties for its size, but is extremely heavy. Okay. I mean, some of these things evoke the uh, moon. But I don't know. Okay, so now my actual least favorite enemies. The uh, leaping versions of these guys are so terrible. Really? Alright. I don't think we see one for a little bit. Um, I'm actually gonna run down Put this flame out, and then instead of continuing on, I'm going to go back so we can continue to go where we. I mean, I guess I can go down here. But, so here's a. Uh, one of the flames we can extinguish. Okay. So the image on this, uh, I know I'm pretty much done, but the image on this looks like um, a tree with a saint, a robed person. Or a door in a tree? I don't know. Um, the three fires have images which um, kind of tie to some other stuff, but I actually don't recognize that at all. The other two images will probably help. Okay, so now 
Let's see here. Rotten pine resin. So, so now we have a uh, dark wraith. Ooh, that just didn't look like a successful parry. Gotta get away and heal. Yeah, if you try to backstab him, he uh, does that every time. Ooh, I'm surprised that didn't catch him. Slowness. Man, he's tougher than I remember him. Probably because I usually just parried him. Wow. Ooh, and I got a dark mask from him. Guarding. Bone Mask of the Dark Wraiths. Relics of, of a small country that fell to the dark long ago. Looks as if it may crumble to dust at any moment. The Dark Wraiths were the oldest of the Red Eye invaders and rumored to have served a primordial serpent. I don't know, that's the kind of lore I don't like, where it's like, we'll give you exactly what you've already known, and it's just like, you relating it to, I don't know, whatever. Coal used for weapon infusion. The white magic flame produced by this coal was given to the undead legion long ago by one of the crystal sage twins. Give to the blacksmith in the shrine for crystal blessed dark infusions. Alright, so here comes my least favorite enemy in the entire game, I think. Oh! And I'm out of Estus. <laughs> Just like that. So I believe that's where you come down. Okay, well let's do this one. Do I have anything else that would heal me? Oops. Uh, yes, this, but I need this. Um, no, not at all. I hope this is the one that leads to the, yeah, it is. Okay, good. Okay, so yeah, there. I recognize that inscription above this flame. So yeah, that looks like Nito group of skeletons with the one on the top. That's probably Nito. That <laughs> sounds like I'm saying Nito. Like, Nito. Yay. 
Um, is there not an item here? Alright. So for this, I believe the best strategy is this. I mean, I know it's a starting item, but I feel like, you know, every time... Wow. No matter what armor I have on, I always, like, lack poise. Great. Like, no matter what. Just, like, I can wear the heaviest metal... Th I mean, I'm not wearing cavils or anything. It's like, you know. All right. Okay, we're gonna go. I like how this swing. Basically saying you should be level three already. Nice. I didn't know you could backstab those guys. There's so many different types of grooves that um, some you know like I don't know. I can't remember which one you can get out of, so I'm doing it to everyone. So yeah, that's uh, that guy is firing. We have lingering dragon crest ring. We have the crown of dusk, which I mean we know that these birch trees are dusk based. Uh, we're going to read all the stuff in a little bit. Good. Need lots of those. Gold pine bundle. Soul of an unknown traveler. So this is what people use like um, the quick step in the uh, dagger for. You can just zoom right through here without any problems. Okay, there we go. Okay, I believe one of these is a... I think these are both the other crews. Okay, one more hit. Okay. I don't think that's a jumping one. So we can obviously see here the mushroom men, not from Ulusil, but from, oh yeah, and there's a little, like the mushroom that we fell down in the Great Hollow. But on this one is a sage scroll. So yeah, let's read all this stuff. Okay, so, um, hopefully I don't die here. Okay, I can see on the right. Gold pine bundle resin. Okay, nothing new. Okay, cool. 
Sage Coal Sage Scroll. Scroll containing sorceries of the Crystal Sages. Give to a sorcerer to learn sorceries of the sages. As any sorcerer knows, sorcery is a talent, and these sorceries were fine to nurture a very special talent. Okay, so we have the Crown of Dusk. Feathered crown bestowed upon the Princess of Lucille, land of ancient golden sorceries. Through the Guardian Elizabeth's blessing, this raises the power and effect of the wearer's magic, but damage suffered by magic attack rises in tandem. Um, what else did I get? Oh, Lingering Dragon Crest. A special ring given to those who are deemed fit to undertake the journey of discovery in Vinheim, home of sorcery. Apropos to the dragon school, the seal depicts an everlasting dragon. A lingering dragon symbolizes the true nature of the consummate sorcerer. Okay. Um... We'll do this. Gives us a poison gem. Will this one see us and come? Do we have to? Okay, I don't know what that was all about. So yeah, it uses this tree as its catalyst. And like the things that fires are like skulls. Oh my gosh. Didn't even see that. Never equip my weapon. I knew it was coming. I saw it too. I was just like. Black Bow of Ferris from that, and a Stone Great Shield, which... A blo Black Longbow, named after a hero of old, known for the unusual stance from which it's fired. Has a longer range than standard bows, but successful usage requires a trained dexterous hand. Ferris Triple Shot swiftly knocks three, three arrows with finesse after drawing the bow, firing them simultaneously. A mossy stone disc, terribly heavy, it can serve as a shield. The disc is a relic of ancient magic, and one can practically feel the power flowing through it. Discovered in the rotten forest of Farron, used in infusion to create poison. Weapons. Okay. Man. This is a lot to get all these things. It's much easier. We get Ferris's hat and another poison gem. Okay, so let us run back to the bonfire. In the meantime, we can read Ferris's hat. Broadburn leather hat traditionally used by masters archers. The name Ferris is said to have once belonged to a hero, but is now more widely known as a style of hat. It's always nice when you can be immortalized as this is the hat of blah blah blah. I say that like that's ever happened to me.
But I'm just saying, it must be nice. Okay. And I'm only gonna go get this stuff here because, well, I guess I'm trying to get back to um, Firelink Shrine here. Cause, oh, it's only 25 minutes. I mean, I guess we'll see how all this stuff takes to do. Oh, come on. Why can't I just run in here and just hit with abandon? So yeah, undead bone shard. Very important. Heavy gem. So yeah, we have two lit. We need a third. Some more guys over there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we have time maybe to, oh. Um, I, don't know. I wanted to go do this first. And then we have some stuff to do at Firelink. But I guess I'll go up here, grab some stuff. Sunlight Talisman, drink the Eustace Soup. The Knight of Sunlight's personal talisman for casting miracles of the god. The talisman bears the knight's own holy illustration, an emblem of his unwavering faith. Use of the talisman skill fills the user with similar steadfastness. And that's what we'll probably be wearing or using once we start going miracle based. Um, so we get the wolf blood, wolf's blood swordgrass, a leaf signifying a duty fulfilled by the watch dogs of Farron who stand beside the old wolf to ensure the serenity of those at rest. It depicts a swordgrass leaf stained with dried blood. Long ago, the swordgrass leaf um, quietly ad identified members of the Undead Legion. In their rotted forest rest the spirits of warriors past. Their acceptance of and gratitude toward their guardians is expressed eloquently by the humble leaf. Thirty minutes now. Okay, so I feel like if we do this whole thing up here, go back to Firelink, um, we'll be at a cool forty. Hopefully. All right. Gonna get this crystal lizard up here. Twinklin. Do they only drop Twinklin in this game? I feel like that's a thing. Dream Chaser's Ashes. Umbral Ash of one who dreamt of joining the Undead Legion. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. In the end, the Dream Chasers who wandered aimlessly in the rotted forest found a sense of fulfillment. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what the joke is here, but that is holding the pendant um, from the first game where they said that, you know, the pendant is really a special use and blah, blah, blah. And everyone tried forever to figure out what it did, but it did nothing. So I guess dream chasers who wandered aimlessly in the rod forest found a sense of fulfillment. I don't know. Ha ha ha, I guess joke's on us. Okay, so now... What's interesting is that here's a stone old wolf, but this is clearly a wolf. This is not Sif. Just it doesn't look like Sif in any way. So I think that's cool. Legion etiquette, asked to join Covenant. Watchdogs of Farron. And. 
Ancient medallion depicting the crest of a wolf symbolizes the pact of, with the old wolf of Farron, equipped to pledge oneself to the watchdogs of Farron. The watchdogs ensure that the warriors sleep in serenity by taking the form of loyal spirits and hunting down those who would trespass in the woods of Farron. So... So now, there's the Cathedral of the Deep. Here's the uh, the uh, Farron Keep, the swamp. There's the one left. Um, Crucifixion Woods there, and the Crystal Sage right there. Here's the um, bridge that's broken. There's Lothric. Can see the dragon there we've seen this whole time and across the broken is all the pilgrims that we saw now what's interesting is that there's a demon here a chaos demon a fire sage demon however like us he is he is ash he is not he doesn't have fire anymore. Very, very dull things of fire, but you can see that he's... Why does that take so long for him to swing? He has this boulder... magic or something. That's really... Oh! Okay. I actually didn't see that grab. Okay. Right. I always send this down, the the elevator, because I invariably fight this guy more than once. Every time. Just because of stuff like that. There's actually a couple embers by him too, so this will be good. I'll just beat him unembered and then, because we need to be embered for the next part. Yeah, see if he sees you too far away, it's terrible. Because he'll just, sh just do that rock boulder thing and then you're just screwed. Oh, how did that hit me? Oh, the delays are so terrible. Now that, like, based on the logic of this game, should have hit me. I was even saying it earlier, like, this game is all about positioning, so I guess I shouldn't be... Oh my god, that was his pickup. Oh, that was so stupid of me. So yeah. So this would have been the gate that guarded Lothric, so they had, eventually, a demon guarding the gate. Of Lothric, which is cool. The soul of the stray demon. Now this is a boss without a boss room too, which is kind of cool. The stray demon, now lacking even a trace of flame, was once the gatekeeper of Lothric. So I guess there was still um, chaos demons around, and they utilized them. Um, Great Axe, I mean, what's it going to say? One possesses the inhuman strength. Uh, however, since every swing makes wands. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. 
the, so we kept on seeing the demons stuff in the transpos the, the transposing kiln menu, um, and now we actually have an item that, or a soul that will actually do those. So. But I'm not really sure why they. Oh, come on. Okay, so that one gave me a heavy gem. That wasn't twinkling. But it doesn't seem like they give me. like large titanite and stuff like they used to. So yeah, you can see all the pilgrims down there, the upset cart, and where we got dropped off, where we came down from, and obviously that dragon. Oh yeah, on the other side of this, there's a lone pilgrim. Oops. I wonder if all pilgrims are from Londor, if that was just like Eol is from Londor and that and everyone's from everywhere, I don't know. Don't think I've ever noticed this. Oh yeah, it does get okay, I take everything back. I don't know what I'm talking about. Dragon Crest Shield. Appropriate. A knight's shield engraved with the crest depicting a dragon, one of the enchanted blue shields. The dragon crest shield greatly reduces fire damage. Well, it looks like someone was fighting a dragon here. Aha! Oops. Sunlight spear. Which I'll probably be using. Oops. Where's the... Like, you gotta hear that this, the left one doesn't work. Like, this always works. Okay, I feel like it doesn't work sometimes. Miracle allegedly used by the Warriors of Sunlight. The spears inflict lightning damage, providing an effective counter to, ma to magic or fire, especially powerful against metal armor and dragons. He's bearded as well. Although he doesn't have the particle effects coming off of him. All right. Well, oh uh, yeah, we gotta go up here. <clears throat> so, um, I guess let's do the third. Um, Let's do the third flame and then go back to uh, um, Firelink, I guess.
just gonna go down to here. All right. This should be quick. I don't really remember where it is, of course. But I mean, I'm sure we'll find it. problem with this area and these guys is that you can't fight them with the, I mean you're oh three hits nice and I forgot there was hazel again okay um, there she is okay I hope this doesn't mean I'm dead. What? Haha. -ha. Really? Get out of that. Oh, this is terrible. Oh my god. Hazel a second time give you anything, I wonder? Well, we're gonna find out. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> um, all right. There's one over there as well. Jeez. Oh, I'm gonna get the attention of this one, aren't I? You're just gonna stand there. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> Don't mean to like drop my controller and stuff. It's like, I want to finish the video up real quick and then we can blah 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 and I'm just rushing things and not thinking about it. Although why was that, I forget what it's called, but the dinosaur from Sorcerer, why did it just stand in my way? Like, why is it just standing there? I mean, is it just gonna... Oh my god. Yep, it's mad. Okay, I guess we're just doing this area. <laughs> like... Wow. Oh my god. I love how it still spreads even though you kill it. And by I love it, I mean I don't. 
What did they drop? Moss fruit. Clump of moss fruit. Temporary boost bleed poison frost. All moss fruit is the same regardless of color. Huh. So yeah, we can see an open um, chest here. We can see what looks like Elizabeth. And we have the golden scroll and the antiqu the rest of Dusk's stuff. A golden scroll chronicling the vast research of the Xanthus scholars. Give to a sorcerer to learn the arts of Ulusil. In the lost land of Ulusil, the sorceries orchestrated light and were said to shine in golden hues. That's probably where um, Heisel is trying to get to. Because he's a Xanthus scholar, or she is. Dress sewn uh, in a long lost fashion. The elaborately embroidered ivory colored silk is imbued with an ancient power. No protection is offered by this garment. It was never intended for battle. Alright, well, let's get to a place where we can safely fight. I mean, I guess here. There's an item over here. so fast. Do you get anything? No. Okay. Well then it was completely useless. Is this a jumping one? Oh, I hate him. I've actually done well against them. <laughs> like I haven't been like I got chewed on once I guess but but for hating I guess I've learned them so well that <laughs> okay rusted gold coin I don't think we've had one of those yet rusty gold coin that surely has no uh, currency Crushing the coin gives a large, if temporary, boost item discovery. A rich man lost his fortune, but it returned to him twofold. He was swift to squander his retrieved fortune, smugly confident that it was bound to double once again. Yeah, and then that is the Four Kings on that uh, masonry.
There we go. Open the door. Yeah, four kings there and maybe the abyss below them. So yeah, I guess I don't, the other one was Isolith? I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah. I forgot that you can go just straight back to the shrine. That makes a lot of sense. All right, so. Um, okay, do you have anything to say now that I've opened it? Gaming equipment. No. Um, I got Dream Chaser Ashes. Oh, how may I? Ashen one, what woeful umbral ash is this? This barren dust stuff of a fool won't yield aught. <laughs> okay. Where didst thou happen upon the stuff? Tell me for the sport. Okay. Oh, yes, I see. Clinging to lofty dreams in this dying world. More's the pity. It must come from one most foolish indeed. Wouldst thou not agree? Okay, we're all fools to believe Miyazaki that the pendant meant something. Okay, great. Funny. Alright, so now we have a hidden blessing for the first time. Holy water blessed by Queen of Lothric. There is a grave in Lothric that sees no visitors, a dark place where rootless warriors rest. The Queen of Lothric alone cared to wish the poor souls good fortune. That's interesting. At all times, the Abyss Watchers of the Undead Legion keep a spy of these concoctions prepared by the Acolytes. Rumor has it their Gru descendants still make these concoctions. Farron Keep was swallowed by the rotted wood where the blunt horn grues concoct this resin. Okay. Composite bow. Composite short bow emphasizing power its size allows for quick shots. Though more powerful than standard bows, it also requires more strength of the user and its range is short. Okay. A generous, generations old ring set with a small red jewel. Rings have unique powers and their discovery will do much to ease a wearisome journey. Ashen one. Okay. Uh, so can we reinforce yet? No. Two more. Can I do refined yet? Don't have a gem yet. Uh, Lot Estus, no, but I will do that. Give coal. Well, well. What's the undead legion doing with a coal such as this? I'd heard one of the crystal sages had sided with Farron's abyss watchers. Yes, we heard so too. I suppose it must be true. You should know. This coal is imbued with magic. First one I've ever seen. Hardly a surprise, is it? I've never been one for books or wise men. <laughs> Pretty be careful. Alright, let's see what Grey Rat has to say. You can keep up. Oh, interesting. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Do we get any more pyromancy tones? No, Isolith. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. We're back. Don't leave. Back again, I see. I suppose this means you're after sorceries. Nope. We'll have the sage scroll first. Oh my! This is stupendous. And the undead legion of Farron possesses sorceries quite unknown. Mm -hmm. Thank you for upholding your end of the bargain. You're welcome. I doubt I ever would have made this discovery alone. Now, let us 
unravel the thing so you may put these new sorceries to use. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I got more. Oh, my. Oh, this is very unusual. It's from Ulysseel, an ancient land of golden sorceries. Not even the Dragon School possesses such a long lost scroll. What would the Xanthus scholars say with their ridiculous headwear? <laughs> they would simply slaver over this find. Yeah, Hazel was looking long and hard for it. Alright, so what do you have? Great Farron Dart. Entrusted to the leader of the Legion's acolytes and apparently a sorcery of his daughter, Hazel. That was refined by a crystal sage. Aha, uh -huh, so Heisel was a daughter of one of the Legion's acolytes. And I guess was trying to find more Xanthus things. But why were why does Farron's keep house the remnants of dusk? Was Hazel trying to protect it? Yeah, so here's another one that uh, Heisel used. Okay, magic weapon, magic shield, spook, oral decoy, pestilent mist. Highly dangerous sorcery employed by dragon school spooks. Only taught to trusted members. Releases dense mist that eats away at HP. Beware that, but as the caster is not immune to its effect. A body caught in the silent mist cloud lies still while the face twists in a tortured scream. The names of these learned sorcerers became feared for this gruesome spectacle. Huh. So we're learning again more about the dragon school spooks that use spook. Cast light. Lost sorcery of Ulysseel. This light producing magic is elementary but nonetheless demonstrates the pure nature of nature of golden sorceries, the likes of which have not been developed even at Dragon School. Repair. Repairs equipped weapons and armor. Um, while the effects of the spell are rather subtle, its foundations are a, a well-guarded secret. Light is time, and the reversal of its effects is a forbidden art. So yeah, we know that light is the thing that runs everything, including the repair in Dark, Source and Dark Souls 2. But in this case, it says light is time, and the reversal of its effects is a forbidden art. Turns the right weapon invisible. The weapon itself undergoes no inherent changes. Effective use like of this, like any tool perhaps, is reliant upon the ingenuity of its caster. Turn body invisible. Although perfect invisibility is unachievable due to the risk of dissipation, the caster need only stand still for a moment to blend in the environs with astounding camouflage. Twisted Wall of Light Twist distorts light in order to deflect magic. This is a new one, but it's from Ulysseel. A closely guarded light manipulation spell that contorts the very fabric of fundamental laws, negating magic by denying, denying its claim to physicality. Alright, well we're going to buy a few of these. Hopefully we can buy them all. sorcerer now no mistake you should have something to prove it go on if I'm giving something away you better well take it <laughs> young dragon ring how do you like gimmicks friend this is a sign a cipher employed by sorcerers who use quietude to their advantage Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring. With this, you can be sure to tell friend from foe from your very first encounter. It's a very old practice at this point, but one that you deserve to know. I don't mean to say anything like that. Okay, and he's still mad. Promise to stay safe. Okay. Arena has nothing new. 
So we have no tomes to give her. Uh, Gregor has nothing new. He has nothing new. Yuria will have nothing new. Oh, let's check. Let's check the. Uh, oh, we gotta read those. Young Dragon Ring. Ring given in Vinheim, home of sorcery. The newly ordained, when newly ordained, ordained as a sorcerer, it boosts sorceries. Apropos of the Dragon School, the seal depicts an everlasting dragon. A young dragon presages the great length of the journey to mastery. And what else did he give us? Silent ally, and then the lingering dragon crest. Special ring given to those who are deemed fit to undertake the journey of discovery in Vinheim, home of sorcery. A lingering dragon, yeah, so I think we read this. Oh, slumbering dragon. I see. Ring of a clandestine, clandestine group, uh, guild of sorcerers based in Vinheim, home of sorcery. The Dragon School held effective sovereignty over Vinheim, with a great many adept assassins at its disposal. Cool. Okay. Okay, it's Boulder Heave. Art of a stray demon of stifled flame spews a boulder from one's mouth. The boulder is heavy, but shatters easily. We had that before, that before, Havel's Ring. A ring for warriors keen on heavy accoutrement. Increases maximum equip, maximum equip load. This ring was named after Havel the Rock, the battlefield compatriot of Gwyn, the First Lord. The art of war has been a constant since ages past, and those who would follow in Havel's footsteps are no fewer now than in his own day. <laughs> I guess that might be a commentary on how there's a lot of new players to the game that are just uh, wearing Havel's stuff and and going through the game that way. There's so many of them now as there were back in the day. No stop. So fine. No, no. Okay. Um, well, I guess I should have probably brought bought... Uh, I'm going to go see if I can buy uh, Sigurd stuff before the next episode. Anyway, um, that should do it for now. Oh, wow, it's an hour. Um, yeah, so we'll um, continue in the Farron Keep where we left off and fight the Abyss Watchers next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.